All right, so when you come into my class, you see the great little banner that we have here and it welcomes you here. Um, and underneath that, um, there'll be some changing assignment, uh, so uh, announcements. There'll be changing announcements that will come under here. So the first announcement I put up, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago was about today's orientation. And then beneath that, you'll see that there is an area for course polls. And uh, so far, I've put up two. One of them is to confirm your attendance today at the orientation. And uh, as I said, many of you did participate in this poll, so I get an idea of what to expect. And then I also put up a new poll last night about the schedule of grammar topics. OK, so here's the schedule of, of grammar topics. I'll go more into detail about that in just a minute, but you can also you know, take a look at that. On the right side, it shows you our course description. So you're going to review English grammar and learn to edit grammatical, mechanical, and word usage errors in your writing. And this includes intensive review and editing of verb tenses, modals, conditionals, active and passive voice, articles and nouns, prepositional, adjectival, and adverbial phrases, word forms, word usage, subject verb, pronoun agreement, sentence parts, sentence patterns, sentence boundaries, and mechanics. Does that sound like a lot of stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is an advanced class, right? So I'm assuming that you have learned English for a long time. You're not a beginner. And it's just like many things that we do, we, have ex we experience it, but we, we don't really master it. OK, so now we're going to kind of review the things that I'm sure you have studied at some point in your English learning career and try to get closer to it and be able to manage finding your mistakes and editing them out. OK, now <clears throat> we'll talk more about that, but let me just tell, show you where we're going to go in our course. Um, there's a calendar which just shows you if you're looking for, for dates. Um, we also have the lessons area, which is the most important area that you're going to go to. So currently, I've got assignments up here. And um, in the assignments, did anybody read this one before the orientation? OK, some, uh, Angela did. Anybody else? <clears throat> well, in case you read it, <laughs> this is what it said. It said, respond to the course poll, buy your book, and uh, register for it. Um, and uh, I will tell you more about that in case you didn't do it before today. And then here is our week one. So I'll be putting in week one through how, how many ever there are. OK, so I'll be adding that on. Now, um, in your, your homework, it'll tell you what I expect to do. So today, we're doing a course overview. And we're talking about getting started in the course. And I'd like you to post a, a little introduction about yourself. Who are you? And what do you want to do? What do you want to share with the class? So we won't be here more in face-to-face -face, uh, like today, uh, the rest of the semester. So where are you going to do that? You're going to do this in the discussion forum entitled Introductions. And I'll show you where that is. But I also gave you a link to it. So you can go directly to it, or I'll show you where it is in the whole scheme of this lessons folder. Um, I hope that you will be able to, to register for the Grammar Sense Practice online, and I'll help you through that. Um, and we do have a class code. So this is the code that you have to enter in order to join my class this semester. Every semester it will be something different. Um, we're going to work on the first chapter, which is the present. And in the present, um, we focus on four different kinds of present, simple present, present continuous, also called present progressive, present perfect, uh, present perfect continuous, also called present perfect progressive. Um, so I'd like you to do the exercises in the book and the in the um, online format. Um, to get to the online format, I put a quick link up in the resources tab. So if you go to resources, you will you can open it up and you'll see in useful links, when you open useful links, you'll see that there's a Grammar Sense online practice, which will lead you directly there. It looks like this. And you have to put your login and your password and then give that a try. <clears throat> we won't do this at this moment, but I just want to show you where the quick link is if you don't want to write. GrammarSensePractice.com. Okay. Also, I have <coughs> vocabulary profile. So you can input your paragraph into a, um, into a box and find out your vocabulary level. And I'll show you more about that a little bit later. 
Okay, there are some other links on this page. For example, if you want to search Google, if you want to look at a dictionary, there's two dictionaries here, both the uh, Merriam-Webster and the dictionary.com are available from this page. But let me go back to lessons. Um, I also uploaded some audio files for, for this book because you'll notice that some of the information that or the exercises that you do in the book require listening. So I've uploaded a whole bunch of um, files here. So you can do the listening one from here. There's also another place I learned about this later after I spent all this time making MP3s and <laughs> loading them up. I discovered that you can also hear the audios when you're in the online practice. Okay, so um, smart thinking. I'm going to tell you more about that and not today at another session, but this is where you can get tutorial help. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to tell you later on about how to um, how to register for this. So I'm not going to try to teach you everything today because it'll be overload, but I want to let you know in advance that Mission College has this new smart thinking, uh, which you can do and get. Uh, get tutorial help. Okay, so I'm going to close that and just let you know that smart thinking is available from within the lessons folder. And uh, Mission College information, these are just some of the resources that I selected from our Mission College website and um, thought that would be useful for you to um, have ac readily be able to readily access. So we have academic re regulations and standards, their academic support center, admissions and records, and so forth. Now, if you go to the home page from Mission College, you'll also be able to find a lot of these same links. Okay, But I just chose some that I find are relatively useful for students in this class. Okay, let's take a look at 